Hi everybody, it's Christina Quick, the Tarot Biz Mentor here from the Profitable Psychic Divination and Business Academy. And today we're gonna to do a video on a subscriber question. So I thought this was actually a really, really good question. And it seems like once I got that question come in the first time, I've been getting it subsequently pretty much every single day since probably for about a week now or so. And the question is, should I discount my tarot and psychic services during a recession or during um, tr uh, times of distress, kind of like what we're in with the current COVID um, pandemic? And I thought that this was a really good question. And um, so I would really love to answer that for you and just kind of give you a little bit about my perspective on the subject and what I kind of think and, um, you know, what are some other things that we can also do? So a subscriber recently asked this. Uh, she asked if we should lower our prices in light of the recession and of the virus. And I, I personally have not found any reason whatsoever to discount services um, because as a tarot reader or as a psychic, you're if you're especially if you're online, if you've been following me, my, my whole basis of my YouTube channel is how to get your business online, how to market your business, how to start a work from home tarot or spiritual coaching type of business, right? That's the theme here that I've been doing this now for five years. So um, if this is your first video, maybe you're not currently aware of that. But if you've been around for a while, you know that I teach people how to work from home with starting an online business for uh, psychic tarot reading, spiritual services, that sort of thing. I have not personally found any reason whatsoever to discount services. I don't think that I recommend it. I don't really encourage it. And I'll give you some uh, alternatives. So, you know, you have some other options here. But the main reason I don't encourage it right now is because our businesses are international. So, um, you know, there's no shortage of clients out there. There's no reason why you should be really uh, discounting your services other than it's because you want to help people out. I don't want you to come and approach this subject as if you have to or it's necessary to. It's not. You don't have to lower your prices. And actually, um, if you wanted to, we'll just talk about like if you really wanted to, you could lower your prices. And a fair way to do that might be like 10% off at max 20% off, not much more than that. Um, or if you could charge per minute, um, what you could do is you could charge maybe like a dollar less per minute on the psychic hotlines if you really wanted to, or if you charge like in blocks of time. So for example, if you're normally $2 a minute, you're $30 for a 15 minute reading, maybe you can go down for a limited time to $15 um, for a 15 minute reading, you know, just bring your price down a little bit. Um, that's only if you really, really want to. And that's only if like, if you really want to be like a really kind person that does that. Um, but you don't have to and I don't want you to feel guilty if you don't want to. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. Because the reason being I don't want you to feel guilty and that I don't think that it's necessary to feel any measure of guilt about not dropping your prices because while well, everybody out there is freaking out right now and they're thinking that there's only, you know, there's no clients and people aren't going to be coming in to get readings, everybody's like dropping their prices in a, re a reactionary type of way. They're really not thinking things through. So you might be seeing a lot of people out there doing sales and things like that and you're thinking, oh, maybe I should do that too because they're doing it. And you don't have to. Um, there are better, more positive ways, more helpful ways, more productive ways to help people in this time than by simply discounting your services, which also, you know, speaking in a long term uh, mindset here, we don't really want to formulate religious uh, business relationships with people like on the basis of a discount. It's not really like a good thing to do because then when things go back to normal and you raise your prices to your normal prices, there's going to be that sticker shock and then there's you might not retain a lot of those clients. OK, so a lot of people out there are using this opportunity to kind of shop around for tell readers and to um, get discounted readings, but there's nothing wrong with that. You're very welcome to do that. I just don't think it's necessary. I think what you could do instead is instead of, uh, this is what I always say, give away your knowledge for free, but don't give away your services for free. This is something I've repeated over and over and over again. And in th this time right now, especially with what's going on, that can't be even truer, right? So I think that, you know, if you wanted to put together like a blog post, or if you wanted to put together a video 
with like helpful information, teaching people how to do a skill. Or right now is even the best time, in my opinion, to start teaching people how to read tarot cards or to get, you know, the people that are coming at you for discounts and things like that. Um, you know, everybody's pretty much everybody's home. Um, we're all in quarantine for the most part, so we don't have a lot to do. Um, if you work from home, then you're busy. But uh, besides that, now is an opportune time to start learning divination. So instead of, you know, people come and say, hey, are you doing in a discount? Say no, but I am doing a video um, in a couple of days where I'm going to teach people how to read their own tarot cards or something like that. That would be more productive and more helpful overall than just, um, you know, lowering your, your services and, um, you know, being burnt out and being resentful about having to lower your services, um, pricing and things like that. Um, you could also simply put out a really nice video that just is really encouraging and just says, you know, hey, we're all in this together and, you know, be positive and uplifting. Maybe do some like uh, Reiki or channel some angelic information, you know, really connect with those higher vibe beings right now to deliver positive information that will be really, really helpful and productive to raising the overall vibe. Um, or, you know, just teaching people a skill, okay? Teaching people coping mechanism or coping skills, or, you know, even talking about what's going on with you and talking about what you're feeling and what, you know, you are doing right now to kind of help yourself through anxiety or even talk about things like self-care and how self-care is important and like giving people some ideas of, of ways that they can keep themselves entertained and higher vibe during this time without immediately going straight to, oh my gosh, I have to discount my services or else nobody's going to buy from me. And, you know, it's it's just not true. Um, and there's a way that you can do like a simple check-in. So the simple check-in is really through your solar plexus. And I use this exercise a lot in uh, my coaching uh, with people, especially in my courses and my one-on-one -on -one coaching. So it's a solar plexus check-in. And so what you're really looking for is, you know that feeling when you're you're in a car and you're going over a dip and then you go down and you're, you kind of lose your stomach, you know that feeling where your stomach kind of just falls out from underneath you? It's that kind of feeling. It's that kind of pit in your stomach, right? Or you feel, you might feel like you have a rock in your stomach. So another part of this question was, you know, how can I be of service uh, without... Uh, without it seeming like I'm trying to capitalize on what's going on. Well, I can be empathetic and, and compassionate and not seem like I'm just trying to do a cash grab right now. And um, we can do that through our solar plexus. So the first and foremost thing is to make sure that it's coming from a place of, I really want to help you, right? If you know deep down that your services are helpful, that you have the tools to help people, then it is never capitalization. Um, it's never capitalizing on people's pain or trauma or whatever, uh, no matter what anybody else thinks about it. Um, if you are providing a service, like for example, medical workers aren't working for free right now, you know, um, if your service is helpful and needed and productive and provides value, especially during a time like this, then it's, it's not capitalizing on it. You're just providing a service. I mean, people ha have to provide services. They have to make a living, you know, and they still have to do it even while the world is in distress or while things are unpredictable or kind of up in the air right now. And so, you know, you know, first of all, in your heart chakra, you know, first of all, you know, your heart, you know, your intentions, you know, why you're doing this, you know, that you're really just trying to help people. And some people are going to maybe judge you a little bit on that. But you know what, everybody's entitled to their opinion. And even if you were the most perfect person in the world, and you were the most altruistic and philanthropist person in the world, they would still find something to pick wrong with you about how you did something. So you don't really want to worry about that. So for example, I'm actually going through something similar. Next month, I had scheduled a class to be taught. Um, and it was the medical intuitive certification class where you learn how to utilize my medical intuitive deck and learn how to do health readings with Lenormand, things like that. Well, I did this self check on myself. And even though in my heart chakra, I'm really coming from a place where I want to help people, I did the solar plexus check, and it failed the solar plexus check. So that's why I'm going to go ahead, hold off on that. I'm going to put something else together, something a little bit different, something more productive right now without, you know, um, trying to you know, even discuss, like, I don't even want it to become a situation where we're sitting in the meeting and we're like, okay, well, how can we, can we apply this to the coronavirus or something like that? I don't even want to go there with it. So that's why it failed the solar plexus check. So, um, 
So that's why I'm going to wait and I'm going to do something else. So the solar plexus check is when you, th it, you'd start with the heart check and you say, yes, is this something that I really, really want to do? Is this something that's in my heart to teach? Am I coming from a, a good place to do this? If the answer is yes. Okay. Now think about it and then, you know, let it travel down to your solar plexus and think about it and feel into it. And when you think about that idea, if you lose your stomach or if you feel like your stomach's bottoming out or you feel like um, you have a pit in your stomach, then that is your intuition telling you, no, it's probably not going to be received well. Let's go ahead and hold off on this and maybe we'll do something else, something similar, but something else. And um, that's that's how I do those those uh, solar plexus and heart checks. And that's very, very telling. Your body will tell you, you know, your body will tell you where those resistances are, if there are any. And if, you know, if it's a good idea to pursue with something or maybe if we need to kind of hold off on something and do something else. Now, I've also had the very unique ability to be um, my husband works for home and he works for many, many big, big, big corporation businesses. So this whole weekend, I've I've literally sat in hours of, um, you know, meetings and just listening to these big corporations talk about how they're going to move forward. Um, and a lot of the corporations are medical corporations. OK, so they're necessary. They're essential during this time. And a lot of them are talking about, OK, how are we going to move forward with this uh, with these services? How are we going to get people these services without losing money? basically. And um, the, the biggest takeaway now uh, that I got from that meeting is how to make things accessible. And that becomes our burden as um, service providers, you know, and every single one of those big companies would say something like, you know, if we have this thing of value that people need now more than ever, people deserve access to this. So how are we going to make this more accessible? So instead of saying, how are we going to discount this? Or how are, how are we going to make it through without losing money on this? What a lot of them are doing are putting together new programs and, and new ways to receive the the assistance that they, they need and want. Um, and while also uh, making it more accessible. So this means means like doing um, a lot of the doctors are now working at home doing virtual conferencing and they've lowered their prices and so they can lower their prices while still maintaining uh, while not having to have people waiting and stuff like that they can uh, actually see more people which actually results in them making even more money while still providing a necessary and valuable service while making it accessible so um, that right now is the best way to approach this, in my opinion, is to not immediately go to the discount, um, you know, fever or the discount, like, you know, everybody wants to discount things or mark things down. I don't think that that's a way that you're going to feel positive about this whole situation and feel empowered about your earning potential because this this is going to happen again in some way shape or form something else is going to happen and you know you're going to have to rely on your ability to make money during very very tough times and so i think it's a much more empowering a better way to approach this subject as in how am i going to uh, make this accessible what kind of programs what kind of offers can i build to um, so that I'm not losing money, but I'm also being of service during this time. And um, right now, I would suggest, you know, putting together something around $100, maybe $25 if you really want to catch the lower hanging fruit to people that are, you know, looking for some sort of entertainment value, what they would spend on a dinner out or a movie or getting a haircut or something like that um, to, to feel good you know, to feel good about themselves. People utilize psychic readings and psychic services and spiritual coaching in much of the same way. So before we go to discounts, think about, you know, what are some other creative ideas that you can put together so that you're not losing money and you're actually in more demand and you're doing it in an ethical way and you're pro providing value and you're providing people with the services that they need in, in a way that's accessible to them. So I invite you to just think about this subject and, um, you know, take it into your heart chakra and see how you feel about it. But I think that if you think about it, you're going to really find the wisdom and what I'm trying to tell you, because I know from personal experience, I've been doing this for 10 years now. I know that when we immediately go to the discount zone, we start losing our confidence and our self-worth, our, our, our value, those limiting beliefs of uh, poverty mindsets uh, start creeping back in. And I want this moment for you to stay as high vibe and make as much money and be as profitable as you can and help people in uh, situations that are less than ideal. And that's what being an entrepreneur is really about. It's about finding creative ways to work with the 
the world of the the energy of the world and um, to really recession proof your business and find ways that you can still make money when everybody else is struggling out there. Um, that, in my opinion, would be the smart thing to do. So thank you for joining me for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.